Hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you a super quick 5 minute makeup tutorial showing you how I created this eye look. And in this video I'm going to play mainly with drugstore makeup only. I wanted to keep it a little bit more on the affordable side and definitely let me know if you guys want me to do a full face of drugstore makeup as well. I found so many makeup products which are drugstore which I really like so I can definitely do a video dedicated to that. So the first thing I did was using some eyeshadow primer. Um, I always use the MAC one. I haven't found a drugstore one yet, which I really like, but if you know a eyeshadow primer, which is from the drugstore, which you personally really like, definitely let me know so I can try it out. And then now I'm applying some eyeshadow guards. Um, I sell these on my website, anytude.shop. Um, these are really nice. They pick up fallout and you can use them as a guideline for your wing liner. Now the palette I'm using today is by Essence, is this palette. I saw it a few days ago in the drugstore, so I felt like, oh my god, let me just use it for one of my five minute tutorials. It has a lot of like soft colors and some really beautiful shimmery colors in it as well. So I wanted to use it for today. And I started with the light brownish color. I'm going to start using that all over in the crease, going from the inner corner to the outer corner just to warm up the whole crease and I take a really big fluffy blending brush. The one I used is the E40. Then now I'm taking my finger to apply this really soft pink color. You can also use a brush, but I've said this a few times before in my videos, like I feel like using your finger with a shimmery color just gives more color payoff on the eyelids. So definitely use your finger if you have problems like not getting like a lot of color payoff with your eyeshadows. So then I went in with the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and I took a angle brow brush from Sigma Beauty. This is actually my favorite brush to apply gel eyeliner. I started with creating like a simple line above the lash line. Um, this is always what I do before I create a wink liner. Um, I really focus to like get a straight line as possible above the lash line. And then when everything is looking good, then I focus on the wink liner. Now you can use the eyeshadow guard as a guideline for your wink liner. Um, this is gonna leave you with a sharp edge as you can see right now. You can leave the eyeshadow guard on or you can remove it like I did. You will st still see like a line of where um, the eyeshadow guard is. Um, this is totally up to you. If you don't have any eyeshadow guards, you can also use some normal sticky tape. This will do the job as well. And then I went in with the darkest brown color, which comes in the palette by Essence. And I'm going to take a really tiny brush from Suif and I'm going to smudge this eyeshadow right above where I just applied the gel eyeliner. So I'm really like smudging it on top of the gel eyeliner and a little bit above it. And then I went in with this concealer from Barry M Cosmetics and I'm going to use it right underneath the wink liner to clean it up and to make the line a little bit more sharp with no eyeshadow underneath. Then I'm taking this pencil from L'Oreal. Um, this is actually such a beautiful color. It kind of reminds me of a pencil that I used to use from Urban Decay, which is called Lucky. But this one is obviously a lot more affordable and I really love the copper brown shade. Um, when it comes to eye pens from the wall line, like those kind of shades are my favorite to use. And I love that it's a drugstore. Then now I quickly curled my lashes and for my mascara, I'm going to use this one by Rimmel London. It's called the Wonder Lux Volume Mascara. It's actually really nice. It definitely gives a lot of volume, but I didn't want it to apply too much on my upper lashes because I am going in with fake lashes. And sometimes when I apply too much mascara, my lashes get in the way and it's kind of harder to apply the fake lashes. But for the lower lashes, I really liked it. It made my lashes really long and super black. So, so far I really like the mascara. And for my fake lashes, I'm going to use lashes from my own lash company. I'll be using the style Impishly. I will put a link down in the description bar together with a discount code. Um, so if you want to try it, any of my lashes, I have. I have a special code for you guys. And then this is the end result. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I know it's super quick, but I just hope this will give you some inspiration. You can wear it to a party, to your work, for Valentine's Day. I think it will work for any occasion. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. And hopefully I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.